Right, how are you all doing? <sighs> a few days ago, I had a little rant about things going a bit flaky on my Steam Deck. I really wanted to play Monster Hunter Rise and out of nowhere I started getting completely random freezes. Not Steam OS freezes, but just the game would freeze and it was a repeatable scenario. Then like a day later, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that scenario no longer applied. I don't know why, but I assumed it was because a small update had been downloaded for Monster Hunter Rise. I was like, yes! Patched, fixed, fantastic. I got so excited, I screamed about it in a video like this, then went to plug the Steam Deck into my dock to record a bit of footage of the thing that was broken now working, and it was broken. <laughs> and so, without going into logs and things like that, I've had a bit of a puzzle to solve. I've had a bit on my mind, and this has been a nice distraction, and I think I may have a groove as to why it's happening, because I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise on my main Linux machine under Proton with no problems at all, which is why I'd assumed it was a, a, an update that broke the Steam Deck. Going back to my main machine, it was still working. Started running through processes. I don't know if this will work for other people or other games, but my theory is it has something to do with this, an external controller, and the way that SteamOS is handling uh, controller assignment. Maybe. So I haven't gone like, hardcore deep into why this is how it is. This is just what I think I've found. Bear with me. Just quickly, any cut you see, I won't be making any changes at all. It's just literally going through loading screens or going to a village or going to the training hub to wherever I can repeat the, the issue. Now, I think I've got this to the point where I can get it to crash if I do the move I want to do. The simple fix is just restart your Steam Deck. Yeah. Turn it off and turn it on again. So shut down or restart, turn on, job done. I'm going to try my best to show it this way. I know that the image is a bit overexposed, but I'll start the game, get to the training ground and see what happens. In theory, I've got this right. If not, I haven't done the right thing to make the thing go. So. Okay, so my somewhat repeatable scenario is a wirebug skill that I use as sword and shield. Um, fingers crossed. There we go. Hard lock. It's the uh, Metsu Shoryogeki. And uh, there you go. It's, it's hard locked. Okay. Um, not really anything I can do. Shy of restarting. Steam Deck at this point, but there you go, it's 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 done, right? So to fix at this point, if you wanted to, and then I'll show you why in theory is happening, just restart the Steam Deck and then we'll go back to the training ground and the uppercut should work. That same lock will also happen, in theory, if a monster roars or certain skills are used. I don't know exactly what is coming up on screen to cause it. I'm thinking controller check, but I'm just pulling things out of my backside at this point. 
So let me get to the training ground. Back at the training ground after the reboot. In theory, it worked. Okay, so there's the thing happening and then it not happening. Why? If you just go back to the start, I mentioned how an update rolled out and all of a sudden everything worked fine and I hooked up to the TV and it stopped working again. I'm gonna hook up to a TV, hook up a control pad and in theory, it should crash again. And then I'll show how to stop it from crashing. We're just gonna hook up the dock and all that is is a controller receiver, ethernet because why not, power from the Steam Decks, power, debris, HDMI, which is going to a capture card, but doesn't matter. And then we'll just take you, plug you into the hole, yeah? Did I not plug that in properly? Probably not. Hang on. Point it with the telly. Right. Power on my control pad. And all the Steam Deck will do is see this as an Xbox pad. It's an 8-bit do, 8-bit do, SN30 Pro version 2. Just get the thing to recognize. There we go. We're recognized. Start the game, and then we'll cut to the training area. Right, fingers crossed, in theory, this will cause the game to crash. Not something you usually hear people say, but okay. Bam, there you go. Metsu Shoryu Geki Crash. What you need to do to fix this, because the theory is that the controls have been assigned in the wrong order. Steam Deck is player one. My pad that I'm using is player two. You want to press on most pads, although shortcut really is just to go Bosch, and that'll bring up a menu, okay? Or on uh, my pad, you press whatever the menu button is. Uh, this is an Xbox pad, so I think it's menu and the bottom button. I think the PlayStation button might be the PlayStation button and circle. Uh, switch might be the home button and one of the, the bottom two buttons, but that will generally bring up the same menu as if you were to press this. Okay, now I want you to go to rearrange controller order, which is right there. And go here, bam. You just hear that? The game is just reset. So now I'm moving about. Wait for my wire bugs to come back up. And in theory, from this point, I can Metsu again. Okay. In we go. Bam. Now the game's working fine. So now if a monster roars or something else were to happen, I was going to do a special move, a wire bug skill or whatever, it would just work. However, <laughs> this is not where the story ends. So all I've done is I've exited the game. I'm going to pull my dock. Okay. There we go. So we're back here. Now, I'll start the game again. And you see that it's now using the Steam Deck's controls as controller one. My control pad is flashing no longer connected because the dongle isn't connected to the system. And then I'll, uh, I'll cut to the training area. The theory, the dock is disconnected, see? The theory is I will crash. I might not though. There we go, crashed. You say, wait, so we just reassign the controller, yeah? Um, you can't, because the, the reassigned controller menu isn't here. 
because the only one available is the one on the front face of the Steam Deck. But that doesn't appear to be what SteamOS is looking for. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll disconnect my HDMI so that it doesn't try and output to the telly. And if I can find... Right, now, control pad is off. Okay. Because it was still looking for this pad, even though I'd exited the game, disconnected the pad, disconnected the dock, it was still looking for the other control pad that it had assigned. Which is why I say, realistically, if you want this to go away, right, pull your dock, and until a, a fix is properly issued, I suppose, um, just go to Steam, go to Power, restart, and it will be as it was when we started the video. Um, awkward, but not too much hassle. Also, if you find that you try to play a game and you have a control pad hooked up and the control pad is doing nothing, check the controller assignment section. It doesn't always, because it's assigned your secondary control pad to player two, and this is player one, uh, some games have a little bit of a freak out and go, whoa, hang on, what's going on here? There's two control pads hooked up and player two is trying to do the thing. In theory, that's why this is um, playing up as it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, minor little quirks, but things that can easily be patched out in software and explains why I never had this issue on my main Linux rig. So my main Linux rig, I've only ever had one pad hooked up. Same pad as what I'm using now. Um, same, same USB dongly bit. Uh, cool. Now I can play Monster Hunter more. <laughs> and not have to freak out every time it locks up. Because if that happens, if a monster roars, or you do a special skill that would cause it to lock up, if you're online, you just get kicked out of the party. Um, so at least now you've got something to check beforehand so you don't just get randomly removed from a group or whatever. You can just go and, in theory, you've got something to test. You can just go to the go to the uh, training hall or whatever. Or just restart before you launch the game to go online, but whatever. Cool. Um, I think that is the puzzle kind of almost solved. Uh, realistically... My only advice is, if you are going to use a Steam Deck with an external control pad, always, always, always make sure you go into the control assignment menu as soon as it becomes available and set your, your external pad, your extra pad, to player one. If it's supposed to be player one, make it player one. And, uh, and that's it. And then after that, after you're done with your pad, just restart your Steam Deck. It's not that much of a, a hassle, but it's something easy to do until uh, until they they patch whatever is is going on. Uh, because I ended up uh, I ended up having the, the same issue this evening. I've played Monster Hunter since, and repeatable scenario crashed when I went into the training area. I go into the training area to check, but there's no guarantee that the games you're playing will have a easily repeatable scenario for you to check and it would be such a pain for you to get into say an online game find an issue have it hang and you go oh as you get booted and then have to restart or refind a group or whatever just do that check at the start every time you need to or every time you pair another control pad and then at the end just just reset it uh, Quite a weird little whatever. Just you know, I, I, I was a bit surprised by it, uh, but again, simple enough. Um, hopefully helpful. <laughs> Not my luck though. I'll uh, I'll talk about it.
and no one will need it. That'd have been so obvious to other people. Um, or, or it gets patched tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. If your game doesn't recognize your controller input, once you connect the second control pad up, just control assignment. If your game has random hangs and you're using an external control pad, or you have used an external control pad, check controller assignment or restart the Steam Deck. Simple enough. Tad annoying, but at least, uh, at least games can still be played. Hope you're well, and I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one. It's just fantastic though, because my main Linux rig doesn't have that issue because it only ever has one pad hooked to it. <laughs> That's why I've never seen the issue before. But still, how weird. I wonder if they could just disable the Steam Deck controls if you pair up a, an external pad. I love what I suppose that would stop people who use the controls and an external pad for like two players, but anyway, whatever. Yeah. <laughs>